Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. So today I want to share with you why I believe that this specific ramen spoon is 10 times better than your standard soup spoon. Let's have a look. And as always guys, about the ending of the video, you want to purchase a set of these ramen spoons, make sure you check out the link in the description below. So the first thing we're going to notice here is that this is basically a ladle. This is a ladle for your mouth. Look at the amount of stuff you can fit in that bowl compared to your regular soup spoon. So it's much more efficient shoveling food into your mouth. Second thing is, it's got two options to make sure that it doesn't fall into your soup. It's got a hook here and it has a ledge here. Let's have a look at how that works. Perfect. You've done a good job. You went out there and bought yourself a good size ramen bowl, right? It's got enough space in here so you can fit your vegetables and your meats and your eggs, your green onions. Beautiful job. You have all of this beautiful aroma spilling up from the bowl. And then you come in with this, all right? This does not belong in this bowl. Now, I understand people may not want to use chopsticks or don't know how to use chopsticks, but surely everybody knows how to use a spoon. So the first thing is, if you're going to be making ramen, just get the right type of spoon to fit the food. Now, as we can see, when the bowl is full, it's really not going to fall anywhere. The danger happens is when you start eating and the bowl starts to get a little bit empty, then the spoon can tend to slip in here. But one of the great things about having this type of spoon is, when you're eating ramen and you're trying to cool out the noodles and you're pulling it out like this and you're blowing on it, there's really no sense in doing that because what you can do is just get all of the noodles that you want in here and then bring this up to your lips and blow it off like that and you blow it and then you eat it. Way easier to cool the noodles down instead of stringing it up and blowing on the strand. All right, this is the danger zone for drowning spoons in broth. You've eaten all the food, and all we want to do is get down to this delicious broth in the bottom of the bowl. Now, if you're at home, no problem, right? You just pick up the bowl, drink it out of there, and you're fine. Some people feel uncomfortable doing it at restaurants. So you want to make sure that you can have a way to use your spoon without it dropping into the actual broth and making your hands gross. And as you can see, it's hanging on by this hook on the lip here. No way that's going down. Or you can use the ledge like this. Now, if you're trying to do it with this, that's just a Greek tragedy right there. And I get it. Some people don't eat ramen at all. But in the winter, might you have some chicken noodle? All right, we got a new bowl here for our chicken noodle soup. And we don't have to worry about the spoon slipping in here because the walls of this bowl shape are steeper. But I just wanted to show you again the difference in the bowl sizes, right? So look at all the soup you get in here versus the tiny amount of soup you get in here. That is a pretty big difference there. And it's also easier to scoop up all the yumminess in there. Take a look at that. Well, there you have it, guys. Stop drowning your spoon and your soup and your broth by using the hook and ledge method on the spoon. You also have a bigger bowl here so you can get more food per scoop. Well, all right, guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase a set of these spoons, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.